Okay, so good afternoon. Today we are going to discuss the research of the about the different types of stain that we can see in a hotel, the equipment that will be used, the procedure, and the safety protocols. This will be reported by Arikayos Mariela, Cruz Celina, the Breast Princess, Necesito Leslie, Perez Ron, Ramos Peter, Santera Roman, and me, Diana Hermela. So the first reporter will be Selena Cruz. So for the first type of stain is the tea stain, and the material is the bed sheet. Here are the type of stain removing equipment and material suits, which are the towel, stain removing pad, vinegar, det detergent, and baking soda. So for the procedure in removing tea stain on the bed sheet, first we need to blot up the stain area with towel. First, spread the bed sheet on flat surface and blot up as much as tea as you can. Second, use white vinegar. Once all the tea is removed with towel, spray some white vinegar on the stained part of the bed sheet. Third, use detergent and baking soda. After removing the vinegar with towel or sponge, take some baking soda and sprinkle it all over the stain. Fourth, wash the bed sheet with detergent. Next. Next type of stain is the soft drink stain, and the material is the carpet. Type of teas. Type of stain removing equipment for the soft drinks are non-bleaching dishwashing detergent, lukewarm water, vinegar, clean dry absorbent tea towel. So for the procedure in removing soft drink stain in the bed sheet, first we need use we need to use a clean white absorbent tea towel. Second, in a bowl, mix one fourth teaspoon of gentle non-bleach dishwashing detergent with lukewarm water. Third, mix a generous amount of white vinegar. Fourth, using a clean cloth, dip into the detergent and so on. Next. So here are the safety hunting practices. Always carry chemicals in approved container, containers and remember, make a reading habit on how to use each chemical or any cleaning agent before using. Third, always check if the chemical or cleaning agent is closed to prevent any leakage and so on. So the next um, type of stain is wine stain. So the materials is carpet. So yung kailangan na um kailangan natin ng na materials para matanggal yung wine um stain is ox oxygen based cleaner carpet stain remover dishwashing liquid um cold water or uh, or hot water so we can use hot water if the stain is dry then baking soda then then white cloth or sponge then the procedure is first procedure is plot the stain immediately so kailangan natin siya i-dump agad ng white um clean white cloth then next is mag-aad tayo ng water dun sa stain dun sa may stain may stain area so, kailangan is small amount lang ng cold water yung ilalagay natin para mabilis siyang matuyo. And um, pagkat natuyo na siya is, um, next na gagawin natin is magagawa na tayo ng baking soda paste. So, sa paggawa ng baking soda paste is magbimix na tayo ng paste with um, 3 to 1 ratio of baking soda. Then, lalagyan natin ng water. Then, i-apply lang natin to directly, directly dun sa carp, yung dun sa stain. Then, papatuyin siya. Then, kapag natuyo na siya is, um, i-vacuum na natin siya. Then, kapag hindi pa rin natanggal yung stain, is kailangan na natin mag-apply ng carpet stain remover. So, um, it is important na kailangan, na basahin natin yung manufacturer instruction para mas, um, mas maging, um, mas mabilis matanggal yung stain. So, yung safety handling practices is kailangan, um, unang-una is kailangan na, lalo na kung toxic or yung ma, masyadong matapang yung um, chemical, kailangan natin magsuot ng gloves, goggles, and so on. Then, um, basahin natin ng maayos yung um, instruction ng manufacturer manufacturer instruction para mas mabilis or mas maging effective yung um, gagawin natin. The next type of stain is the feces or the urine stain. And then the material type of material is the couch. Ang gagamitin natin mga materials dito ay yung sponge, vinegar, and detergent. Ang procedure, po na, ang procedure natin na gagawin is maghahalo tayo ng vinegar ng detergent sa isang tubig. And then pupunasan natin yung couch ng gamit yung sponge ng dahan-dahan. Kasi kapag dininan natin or masyadong mabilis yung pagpunas natin ay maaaring kumalat pa yung stain at yung, ano, yung, yung feces dun sa couch. Kailangan lang ulitin siya hangga, hanggat may nakikita pa. And then next is the safety hunting practices. Yung mga nagamit natin na pinang-measure natin or yung mga ginamit natin na panghalo dun sa detergent and vinegar, kailangan natin hugasan na ganyan pati yung ating mga kamay. And then sundin natin yung safety protocol sa detergent. So the next type of stain is dirt, candle wax. The material used is carpet. The types of stain removing equipment and materials used are butter knife or dull knife, 
cloth, carpet stain remover, ice pack, plastic bag, and then vacuum. Okay, for the procedures, this is the best procedure that I have researched that don't harm and damage the carpet. On other procedures, they use uh, heat, which is bad for the carpet. The first thing you have to do is put a plastic pad with ice over the stain and place it over the spot. You have to make sure that the bag is not fierce. The cold wax will harden the stain while the bag protects it from getting wet. So the next thing you have to do is scrape the wax. This time, we're going to use the knife to scrape off the wax from the carpet after making sure that the spot is dry and no longer soft. Then after that, you have to remove the wax and carefully get the wax off so that you don't tear the fibers. And try to get as much of that as you can with the knife. And then use a vacuum cleaner to remove any remaining wax chunks. After that, apply carpet cleaning detergent. If the wax is removed but there is a stain from the dye in the wax, Dab the area with a cloth dipped in some rubbing alcohol, then use another cloth to blot as much as you can and leave the treated spot to air dry. For the safety handling procedures, the first thing you have to do is to act quickly. Why do you have to act quickly? The most important thing to remember is never spot clean any stain with hot or warm water as it can set the stain and can cause you more problem. The next thing you have to do is don't over wet candle wax stain. It's better to put small but repeated application as it works much better. Then dab and don't rub as rubbing can spread the stain and damage the carpet. You have to work from the outside towards the center. The fourth one is I believe the most important part is to read the carpet stain removing uh, product instructions and to wear gloves. You have to always test stain removers on a hidden area first to check the effect on the fabric. The last thing you have to do is never use too much remover and to apply only what's according to hotel's policy or product instructions. Next we have type of stain is wood, chocolate, material is couch. So the types of stain removing equipment and materials used are scraping tools, uh, cold water, two towels, cornstarch, dishwashing liquid, vacuum, and dry cleaning solvent. Then for the procedures in removing chocolate in the, in the couch, first is uh, kukuha ka ng scraping tools, then i-scrape mo yung chocolate na natitira doon. So dahil dami siya i-scrape kasi mamaya magdali mo yung, yung couch, yung fabric ng couch. So mas mas tira yung, mas malaki yung damage ng sa couch mo. Then after nun, after nun, gagamitan mo siya ng yung cloth na may dishwashing liquid, then na nakalublob siya sa hot water then gently ano mo siya gently tap dun dun sa may stain na may chocolate then next dun yun nga yung sa pangatlo nga uh, pat the area dry using a dry towel then yung pang-apat na yun yung pang-apat if the chocolate stain is still visible uh, kumuha ka ng ng cornmeal tapos i-cover mo siya dun sa may stain sa may chocolate stain then ano siya this will help absorb the stain and any excess moisture. Tapos after nun, dahan-dahan mo siyang i-scrub, i-scrape mo siya dahan-dahan using your scraping tool and the towel para matanggal yung, yung cornmeal. Tapos the stain should have disappeared or lightened after performing this step. If there is still visible the, the coloring, try following with an upholstery cleaner. Then for the safety handling practices naman, pag gumagamitin yung mga kakailangan mong gamit, kailangan mo muna tignan yung instruction. Follow the instruction first. And then uh, use gloves if, if necessary. Then wash your hands before and after using any chemicals. Never overuse the chemicals because it may cause damage on the couch. Next. So yung next thing po is mud stains. Tapos yung materials po na ginamit, material na ginamit is carpet. So yung, ito po yung mga, mga type ng stain remo removing equipment and materials na ginamit. Towel, paper towel, salt, vinegar. Sponge, baking soda, washing liquid, cold and warm water, tapos soap brush. So yung, so yung procedure naman po dyan is, meron po tayong dalawang method. Una po is yung maghahalo po tayo ng baking, baking soda, salt, tapos po, tsaka po natin siya ilalagay sa, sa, dun po sa stain. Pero syempre po, para hindi po dumala yung stain, para mas kumalat, kailangan po, tanggalin na po natin yung, yung matigas na part, then yung sa natira na lang po na natira pong stain, yun na lang po yung pagpapukusan po natin at saka po natin siya ibabacuum. Tapos saka po natin siya idadahang iwa-wipe. Tapos yung next naman po, yung pangalawa naman po is, pag hindi po gumana yung unang method, yung pangalawa po is yung paggamit po ng vinegar at saka yung suka tapos yung liquid soap po. Tapos punasan po natin ng dahan-dahan yung carpet hanggang sa mawala po yung dumi. Tapos yung, syempre po, yung safety procedure po is gumamit po tayo ng gloves tapos ng goggles po para in case po na may tumalsik na in case na may tumalsik na ano na chemical hindi matatamaan yung mata natin tapos hindi rin makokontaminate yung kamay natin tapos follow natin yung instruction ng manufacturer para alam natin yung gagawin tapos wag natin siyang i-overuse next next type of stain naman po is grease and oil and the material is wood
the types of stain removing equipment and material that we're going to use are drug, warm water, vinegar, nylon scrubber, and baking soda. Next for the procedures, naman, the mixture uh, we have to open pala unang, uh, the white vinegar and the baking soda, which are different uh, ingredients that we can do. So, sa procedures of white vinegar, the, mix the mixture should be one is to one, so we can we can mix one part of white vinegar and one part of hot water. Then use a spray bottle to apply the solution to the grease para para easier yung pag-apply ng solution sa mismo stain. And then allow it to set for several minutes and then wipe with the clean rag. And repeat this many, as many times as necessary to get the wall clean. And if the area is large, use several rocks to connect to the grease and then let it dry. And then for the second option naman using the baking soda, make a paste of three tablespoons of baking soda with one cup of warm water. Yung consistency should be paste talaga. And then work the paste into the grease stain, gently rub the area with the nylon scrubber until the stain disappears, and then wipe clean with a clean dump truck. So hunting practice. When using ready to use decreasers, because we want to be building for the DIY, we want to be building decreasers in the market na ready to use. Na. And make sure na to follow the manufacturer directions that you can see the label that you can product to avoid any injury. And then use harsh chemicals or decreasers when cleaning plant painted walls because the wall is more easy to damage because of harsh chemicals. And then when washing with a sponge, be sure not to scrub too hard. Like I said, it's easy to damage the wall. And when cleaning in the kitchen area, make sure to turn off the gas stove or any flame bubbles to avoid contact with the kitchen floor. And when cleaning in the kitchen area, make sure to turn off the gas stove or any flame bubbles to avoid contact with Types of stain, blood, blood stain, materials to be used, bed sheet. Types of stain removing equipment and materials used. So, breasted brush, fabric safe bleach, laundry detergent, water cold and warm, sponge, hydrogen peroxide, or rub bar soap. Procedure in removing blood on the bed sheet. Number one, expand the stain with hydrogen peroxide or rub bar soap into the stain and rub by hand in a cold water. The second, apply laundry pre-treater or rub in the liquid laundry detergent and wash the remaining stain in warm water with a fabric safe bleach until the stain is done. And how to get a red blood stain out of the sheet? Number one, soak the sheet in cold water over overnight. This is help loosen the drain blood. And number two, pure pure hydrogen peroxide on the stain. Then use a soap listed brush to pat it in. And number three, washing machine machine wash your sheet in a regular wash cycle using a cold water and a mild laundry detergent. Safety handling practices naman po and wash it uh, separately in a boiled available. Uh, make sure na other item po yung area ay nag yung same color niya po. And pangalawa po, always check the wash washing instruction before washing sheet. Bakit po kailangan i-check? Kasi minsan po uh, hindi naman yun yung hindi naman yung akma o hindi naman yung 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 talagang uh, yung magiging procedure doon. So minsan pag nagkaroon ng pagkakamali, mas lalong magkaroon ng problema po yung bed sheet. And then yung number three naman po to prevent a uh, darker darker sheet from padding use cold water cold water and dry them into sheet and number four pre-treating helps in the removing minor stain and number five follow the dryer temperature provide into the level so minsan uh, yung pagda-dry po natin uh, yung meron po kasi gumagamit ng ano eh uh, kahit basa pa pinaplancha na dahil sa kagustuhan lang kagustuhan lang na mai mai ready agad so kahit basa pa pinaplancha so hindi po maganda kasi nagkakaroon po ng diperensya doon po sa ano sa bed sheet and the last one iron store your sheet properly so kailangan po uh, uh, in store siya natin ng maayos hindi kumbaga parang tapos na natin na itanggal na natin na remove na natin yung blood uh, i-store na lang natin na parang hindi na natin i-proper na hahawakan yung sa bed sheet po kailangan po maraming salamat po. So that's it for our report. Thank you so much, groupmates, for, for your effort and time for today's discussion.